evening, boys and girls. It's your boy Panic Knife here with theawfulgamer.com. By now, most of you have seen Eno Mezzo's flying video, his little how-to about how to, you know, move the no the nose a little bit to the left, about how to win dog fights and all that kind of crap. If you're to believe him, he's freaking Maverick. He's Goose. He's the president from Independence Day. Well, you know what, Eno? I can make a montage too. Check this out. Look at this sweet video of me. You know, taking off. Really good at that. Look at that. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm, I'm going in the air. Oh, yeah. Now, check this out. Add a little music to the background. Watch me bank left. Watch me bank right. Do a little barrel roll. I'm pretty damn sweet at this, right? Best pilot ever. Will Smith. You know. Okay, so I'll show you some dogfighting, too. Alright, so check this out. I'm so much of a beast, they can't even handle me taking off on the runway, so they start me out in the air. I mean, it's standard procedure for old Panic Knife here. I, uh, you know, I'm that damn good. I'm flying around here. I think I see a jet, but you know what? It's not a jet. It's nothing. Because, uh, everybody just pretty much clears the sky when I get up there. They're scared of me. I'm looking around, banking left, trying to find somebody to fight. There ain't anybody. So I do a barrel roll, look down at the ground, think, you know what? I'm bored, and I'm so much of a boss, I'm going to slam my ass into the ground. Look at that. Boom. Exactly. Alright, and now this time they're having issues with me such, being such a sexual animal, so they made me take off from the ground. I say, you know what, no big deal. Barrel roll, what, son? I'm flying around, looking around for bogeys. My plane's shaking it up a little bit because I'm such a beast, they can't handle my uh, zero-g flip turns. Kick flips up all, all up on this bitch. Get that pole out of here again. That pole can't handle me, son. So I finally see a bogey. He has the he was foolish enough to uh, fly with me. Get to hit the brakes so I can uh, bank around to him. See him right there again. I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing either. What he knows what he's doing is he's about to get owned by the panic knife. So I uh, I fire my guns. Get a couple hit markers because I'm that much of a beast. Switch to a different camera mode just to you know get a snapshot of myself flying in the air. That's how we do it, son. We do it like that because we want to see, we want to show, we want to appreciate how pretty we look when we're doing this. And I, you know, I'm, I see a chopper. No big deal. No big deal, son. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. Another barrel roll. My plane's shaking. Not really sure why, but you know what? I, no big deal. Might be turbulence. I think I heard something about that at once. I see a flare up there, and I'm like, oh shit! There's the bogey. Speeding up, hitting the afterburners, firing the guns. Standard stuff, man. This is what you learn. Look at that. He can't even handle me. He just decided to fly right into the ground because I was after him. He knew what was coming. So, uh, you know, I, I felt bad for for how beast moding I was on these guys. Decided to take down that chopper. I think. You know, I hit him. Something like that. Got a couple hit markers. But, uh, you know, I, I'd start doing some evasive maneuvers and shit because I'm that much, you know. This is what pros do when they're getting fired at. They don't let anybody take control of them. They switch out of cockpit mode to, you know, take a look at their situation. Then they get hit a little bit, maybe. No big deal. Look at this shit. I have one engine, and I'm still beast mode in these guys. I'm going to take people down with me. Flying around, I see that jet, and I'm like, or that chopper, and I'm like, let's look at this situation. Let's, let's get a little damage eval. Do a barrel roll, of course. Why wouldn't I? You know, my engine still might be blowing up. Shut, fuck that pole. Now I'm like, you know what? I'm going to dive bomb into that objective. Because I'm a team player. Boom! That's what I call fucking flying, baby. Alright, so check it out. And here's another example of how awesome I am. I, I take off from a carrier just like Maverick and, you know, the, the end of Top Gun. To dodge that plane because I, uh, you know, I have such quick evasion skills. This is, uh, this is part of the things you guys got to take notes. This is what you got to do. You circle around and you're like, you know what? Target acquired. Eagle 1. Fox 3. As I'm taking down this, uh, this, you know, chopper or whatever, I, I was about, you know, I had him. He was dead. Dead to rights. And then all of a sudden he had to be a bitch and ask for help for some, from some guy on the ground. Except, I'm such a beast that he might have shot me down, but my plane's still good. The game can't handle me being so good, so, but it's okay because I had another chance to show off my dominance over all of humanity. When I took off here, you know, I'm like, I think I want to kill that guy right there. He's, you know, I, I get another side view of him. It's how I roll, brother. When I, got, when I do a bank turn, you have to, you know, you, you have to admire it. You have to, you know, watch your shot. It's all good. I take a look at this, uh, this other dude that's up in the area. He's got good taste. He's on my team. 
And I figure, you know what? That guy surely knows who, uh, where the enemy is, so I'll follow him. Except I lose him. No big deal. You know, banking around, just hanging out in the air. No big deal. I'm not in any rush. Nobody, nobody can force me to do anything. So I see this chopper and I'm like, what, son? I take a shot at him. No big deal. You know, I'm still chilling. Still uh, in perfect control of myself. My, uh, my character might be breathing heavy, but I'm not. I'm, I'm good to go. That pole still can suck it. And I'm, uh, you know, see a tank on the ground, say, I might as well help my team out. So team out a little bit. Got a couple hit markers on it. And then I see, oh, shit, look at this guy. Look at this fellow sitting here about to get just, you know, lit up by the guns. Look at this dog, dog fighting skills. They don't teach stuff like this in Top Gun, son. That barrel roll right there to get myself back in position. I see him against the mountains. He can't hide. He can't hide. Yeah, actually, they do, they've done training videos based on this. I don't know exactly how he did that little uh, crazy lag maneuver there, but that's okay. He flies into the ground like a beast because he's like, well, sh well shit, panic's got me. Panic's got me, might as well fly into the ground. And I agree with him. That's how I roll. When I, if I was, you know, fighting me, I would probably fly into the ground too. That has nothing to do with the fact they can't control my jet. So I see this chopper right here, and I say, it's time, baby. It's nope. Oh, bam. Yeah, son. That's how we do it. Shot down in a blaze of glory. Take me out before the truth. Da -da -da -da. I'm coming down in a blaze of glory. Yeah, by the way, I can sing too, bitches. I don't even know the words, but it doesn't even matter. Because I'm fucking Bon Jovi over here. Bon Jovi, if he was a jet pilot, and I'm flying around, and I say, you know what? Too much awesomeness. Too much awesomeness. So I'm going to fly into something. Nope. Nope. Oh, and then I hear it. I hear the. they've got tone. They've got me. Got to do some evasive maneuvers. But uh, you know what? They're cheating anyway. It, it was... It wasn't even like a pilot that got me. It was some dude on the ground again. It, it's stupid, man. They they just they can't handle me in dogfighting, so they've got to cheat and use uh use stinger missiles and all that kind of crap. I see this this uh, chopper right there. I probably would have killed him if it wasn't for the jerks on the ground cheating. It's really cheating if you if you decide to shoot the chopper down from the ground or the jet down from the ground or whatever. Because let's be honest, if this game was being realistic. Nobody can shoot me down. Nobody. There's not one person. See, I'm still handling like a boss, barrel rolling, evasive maneuvers. There's nobody in this whole game that can keep up with me. Especially not Eno Metso. See, I had this guy in my sights. He was about to go down too. But you know what? It's okay. I don't even care that it says that that was a, a chopper that got me because it wasn't. It was a bad guy. It was a guy on the ground. A cheater. And last on this edition of Panic Knife's Greatest Hits, I take off like a, you know, like normal. You know, when I don't start off in the air, I take off from the ground. That's how I roll, baby. They don't even need a real runway. All I got to do is take off from the, you know, the grass. Get that pole out of my way. I, you know, that pole, I'll tell you. So I spot a guy out of nowhere because I got those eagle eyes. Start taking shots at him because, you know, I've got those, uh, that, the sniper uh, guns off my plane. This guy's just hanging out in the air like nobody's, you know, paying attention to him. Look, bitch. He, he's so scared, he can't even maneuver. He's, he's frozen with fear and I, I'm chasing after him and all of a sudden you know I, I just get caught up in his uh, his funnel of stupidity and uh, you know I, I get a couple of hits on him he's about to eat the dust bite the dust whatever the cliche is and he, t he takes up straight towards the uh, the sky I'm getting more and more hits and then I get caught in his funnel of stupidity and can't move anymore this is because you know I, I can't really blame it on anything but him um, quite frankly he was so scared he had to send me into a zero G dive and uh, finally I get out of it somehow you know I hear a crash and I'm not really sure what that's all about but I hear a crash and I'm like okay well it's time to recover because you know I, I watched in Top Gun when they're going <laughs> and that spot where like goose died and shit that was because of something like that because some dumb shit decided to, uh, to, to mess with me so I, you know, I, I, I know from that that you gotta get the engines back on by, you know, dipping the nose, and look at that, what a recovery! If Goose couldn't do it, I can do it. You know what? That makes me better than Goose. Quite frankly, that makes me better than Eno Metso. So I, I don't crash. I just keep flying. I'm banking, hanging out, chilling, whatever. It doesn't matter. So uh, you know, 
do I, I, I was about to do a barrel roll there decided not to fuck that pole um, it's it's all good because the game realizes how freaking dominant I was and decides to end no that's bullshit my team didn't lose my team lost it wasn't panic knife there's so, I'm so freaking good they gave me 10 points I'm not even sure why anyway with the awful gamer.com this is panic knife the only conclusion you can draw from this video is how awesome I am and how shitty Enomezzo is so uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, all that happy horse shit. Uh, this is Panic Knife, and I'm out.